morning. God is good. All the time. All the time. We gather to worship our Savior, the living God. So this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And so thank you for coming. Welcome to Mobile United Methodist Church. My prayer you'll be blessed today. Today is Super Bowl Sunday. And as we all look forward to the game later tonight, uh, trust that all will go well. Uh, For announcement, I want to call your attention as we start our journey towards Lent. Wednesday, uh, we have an Ash Wednesday service. 6.30, 6.30, and the group from a choir from Correction View and some members will be coming here and together we'll be one family. I know the choir will be, be doing a special piece and we're looking forward to that. So, so please come and let us prepare our hearts as we journey towards the Lenten season, knowing that Christ died and rose again on our behalf. So please... 6.30 on Wednesday. Uh, any other announcement? I know the women having their program to 12.30 on Wednesday. Uh, is that correct, Janet? Yes. Okay. And so um, and today we'll celebrate Transfiguration Sunday and also the Lenten breakfast. Uh, different churches started 21st. Uh, Father Randy, uh, 28 March 6th year and March 13. If you have more information and want to know more, you can talk to Harold, but uh, please prepare for the prayer as well. The church have a new email address, and so um, please continue to update your information. Uh, with that, let us greet one another if we don't have no other announcement in passing God's peace. Good morning, good morning all. Good morning. Praise, open my eyes that I may see. And see. To follow Jesus. Come and see. Come and see. We come to us. 
and join me in our opening prayer. Gracious God, you have given yourself to us in the person of Jesus. We have this example of loving ministry as a guide for our lives. We give thanks and to you. We give thanks and ask that you bless our time of worship. Remind us that you are always near. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated and prepare for the first scripture reading. Our first scripture reading this morning comes from the book of Psalm, chapter 139, verses 1 through 6. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all of my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. May God bless the reading and year of his holy word. Um, we have the young disciple time. I want to one kid, kid, okay. Jesus lost me and let us sing that song. Jesus loves me, this I know. excited for the game tonight, Super Bowl Sunday, today. Do you have a favorite team? Okay, you don't have, do you have a favorite team? I know most of you are rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, not everyone, not everyone, okay, my bad. I could hear cursing, no, nope, you know. <laughs> so you see, everyone have a favorite team. You understand? And sometimes when your favorite team is going for the championship, you, you are excited. Across our country, so much excitement. Some people do a lot of partying. And some people are even there preparing for the game. You do a lot of preparation. So think about it. Uh, how are some ways that the, the, the team prepare themselves? What are some ways? Practice. practice. Isn't that true? A lot of practice. A lot of practice. So, and you come to the point for the game, with all the practice, time for the game, you have to do all the things you have learned in practice. So as we, you know, prepare, we too, Starting Wednesday, is Ash Wednesday, we prepare for Lent. And part of our preparation in our practice is time with God. How do we take time for God? How do we pray? How do we ask God to help us, to renew us? And, and so in the midst of all the business, you know, Lent is a way to step back to say, um, God, help us to practice prayer. To spend time with you, okay, and and to prepare for Easter as a way to celebrate. So let me ask you, what is your guess for tonight game? Who will win? Um, Kansas City. She said Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, I know Kirk. You say no, so <laughs> I will, I will just leave it like that. Uh, <laughs> We were just hopeful that we all have fun and everybody will be safe. But again, if you have a favorite team, you want the best for your team. Okay? So, but it requires a lot of practice, a lot of commitment. And so the same way as we prepare for Lent, how do we commit ourselves to God? And, and out of us, and we can do that by together as we prepare for Ash Wednesday. So let us pray that God will help us, that God will help us as we prepare for Lent, 
that God will keep everyone safe at the Super Bowl and, and, and we all will celebrate one way or the other. Let us pray. Gracious God, we ask for your blessing upon us, each person here today, that you love us and we are on your team. So I pray for the time as we prepare for Lent and that you will help us to prepare our hearts towards you as we, we, we look forward to all you have done and as we look forward to the great hope of the resurrection of Jesus. We thank you for forgiving us, for loving us. So keep everyone safe for the Super Bowl and all the players and, and, and just pray for your blessing upon our nation today. In this game day, in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Coming. Okay. Uh, we will now present our gifts uh, to the work of God. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayer. Uh, please stand. Let us do the doxology. Loving God, we thank you for the abundance of your provision. Grant us wisdom to use these offerings to the glory of your holy name. Strengthen us to give generously out of all that we are and all that you have entrusted to our care. We dedicate these offerings of thanksgiving and love for all of you. Amen. Please be seated. At this time, we will have opportunity as a church family to share our joys and concerns. So I invite you with your joys and concern, wherever on your hearts, to share with the church family today. Do we have any joy and concern? I know we have um, John and Diane having the anniversary. They are now with us today. And all of Judy French having a birthday. Alex and Diane ever heard having a birthday. So happy birthday to you all. And happy anniversary to John and Diane Weaver. Any joys and concern today? We need to lift up our renter. She's having some a little health issues, so we need to keep her in, in our prayers. Okay, the one at the parsonage? Sarah. Sarah, pray for Sarah. We have a health issue. We'll continue to pray for uh, Deb and Craig. Sis men. Dan? We need to lift up um, our parsonage for the Carrie's family. Lives in town. She passed away this past week. Okay, Karen's ten family. Okay, Jean. Uh, joy that I have. Uh, thank you to everyone on the planning committee and other people that helped get the stuff together, especially Mary and Jeff for getting the checks out for the kids for the scholarships that are in town. So, so, thank you. Okay. Able to. to okay. I will be here uh, on Ash Wednesday right away because I've got to work later. So uh, this is something that can be possibly available for this hour. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll make it work. Okay. We have some joyful. Our, uh, our residents had districts yesterday, and we have seven that are going to state. And my uh, grandson got first in district in the freshman. Wonderful. 
Okay, that's a joy. Any other joys and concern? Continue to pray for the Middle East, for Gaza, Israel, folks in Ukraine, our country. The military fire near. Any other? And pray for the Ash Wednesday service as we start. The choir from Correction Bill have been rehearsing the same song, so so we're looking forward to coming together and hope and and leadership as we and 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 Christina as we sing a beautiful piece on Wednesday, and and so please prepare for that and prepare. Uh, Pray for our, our annual conference. Pray for our bishop and the, all the district superintendent. This time of the year is a lot of prayer, a lot of preparation for appointing pastor to different churches. And some pastor will be retiring. Some pastor will be moving to a new church. So this is the process um, uh, as we we all, all work together. And pray for me, uh, for next month we having, no, this month and next month, we having some meeting with the bishop, we having uh, to do some interview with those who want to be ordained. Uh, I'm part of that bowl, and so pray for us as we read the papers and as we confirm or affirm uh, uh, those who are going through the process to be ordained in the United Methodist Church in our conference. So pray. Okay, let us prepare as we sing a song on in preparation for prayer. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. God, we come to you, we look to the hills where our help comes from, and we trust in your grace that when we turn our eyes on you, you are the one who will guide us and lead us, so we surrender ourselves to you today. Bless our church family. Bless each family here today. And for those who are not with us, that you will bless them, guide them, give them grace. We remember and we pray for your continued grace to be with Deb and, and Craig. Be with Craig, oh God, give him grace in his health issue and give, surround him with your love and peace. We pray for the family who have lost their lives, the Stanton family, that you will surround them with comfort and peace. We celebrate with all this family who, um, through different activities, they have reached a time of joy. Pray for your blessing. We pray for your blessing on our nation and on the game of Super Bowl that you will keep everyone safe. We pray, oh God. For this world and all the ups and downs, we remember nations who are going through turmoil. We remember the people of Israel. We remember the communities of Gaza and, and, and the fighting that is going on with Hamas and Israel. Pray that one way or the other that you can, there can be some sort of peace for those who are struggling with food, with medication. So for those who are grieving heavily in the loss of life, have mercy and bring comfort, oh God. We ask for the end to this war. We pray for the hostages. I pray for their family who are very, very uh, overwhelmed. May you protect them. May you make a way that they can be released. We we'll also remember Ukraine and the people of Ukraine and all those who are refugees in the foreign land, those who have to start over because they have lost their life and family. Pray for this time, O oh God, in our world. 
We remember those who are in prison today, those who are homeless in our community, those who are seeking for jobs, those who have to make decisions, those who are going through therapy, give them strength for recovery, those who are going through grief, that your comfort and peace will be with them. We ask for your blessing and wisdom for our bishop and the cabinet as they make decisions for pastoral appointment, that you will bless them, bless our bowl, uh, and as we prepare for any of you, we thank you. We pray also that your spirit will guide us as we journey towards Lent. We commit Wednesday service to you that you will, you will bless our town as we renew our commitment and to follow you through the season of Lent and towards Easter. We thank you for the hope we celebrate in Jesus Christ today and every day. It's because of your grace that we even have life to live. So, so we commit ourselves to you. May you bless the work here at at Moville United Methodist Church, oh God. Bless our community and show grace and mercy towards us, oh God. We thank you for all you have done, for your forgiveness, and this is our prayer, the unspoken prayer we committed to you. You know all our hearts desire. Give us strength to commit to follow you, always. Hear our prayer, we give thanks and praise your holy name. And we pray the prayer you taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In the come, thy will be done on earth. Give us this day. Thank you for all you have done and all you will do in our life. For the sake of Christ, we pray. Amen. So our closing song, uh, some of you may know it, some of you, it might be new to you. But please stand and part of the song say, will you come and follow me if I but call your name? It's just, just imagine Jesus is asking you. So please stand, let us sing together. Where your love and full 
the call to follow Jesus. Thank you. I trust you have been blessed today. May God bless you. May the God of hope fill you with joy to keep believing by the power of the Spirit that is within you to answer the call. Come and see Jesus. Go and serve the Lord in peace. Amen.